Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Esther's Song of Praise. I hope that all of you are having an amazing day. Today has been a beautiful day. This is one of my favorite chapters in all of the entire Word of God, okay? The book of Psalms, chapter 121, King David is talking about how the Lord is his help. And if you guys remember, if you guys have been here with me for a significant amount of time, you will know that the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir is one of my favorite gospel groups of all time. They have turned chapter 121 in the book of Psalms into a beautiful song. Okay, now I can't play it because YouTube, they do not like it when you play um, copyrighted music on your channel. However, I will link it in the description. Okay, so you guys can hear it. But it is such a beautiful, uplifting song. I was listening to it earlier today and just feeling the presence of the Lord surround me. Have you guys ever felt that, you know, when you're playing gospel music or you're singing a song to the Lord and you could just feel his presence comfort you and surround you. It's such a beautiful feeling. This is such a beautiful, heartfelt song. Okay. So I'll try to sing you just a quick melody. I'm not a very good singer, but that's okay. The Lord said, make a joyful noise. He didn't say make a perfect noise. Okay. <laughs> so the song goes, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills. From what's cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord who makes heaven and earth. He, he said, he will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord which keepeth thee, and he will not stumble nor sleep. And for the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade. Upon thy right hand, upon thy right hand, oh, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, and he shall preserve thy soul, and even forevermore. And then the choir comes, and of course they back her up, and they're they're like, "I will lift up mine eyes to the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord which makes heaven and earth." He said, "He will not suffer thy foot." Thy foot to be moved, the Lord which keepeth thee, he will no slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Upon thy right hand, all the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, and he shall preserve thy soul even forevermore. In my You guys enjoyed that like i said i'm not a singer but 
it's okay because the Lord wants us to rejoice. He wants us to sing out. He wants us to cry out to him. And they do a much better job than I do, obviously, especially the soloists. But it is a beautiful song. It's one of my favorite songs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my rendition. You can let me know in the comments if you did or not. But let's go ahead and get into the actual chapter. I'm going to ask the Lord to bless his word, bless my vocal cords. Um, as I just, I'll say it, not sing it anymore, but it is. It's one of my favorite songs. It blesses me every time, you know, I hear it, every time I sing it. I love it. I hope you love it too. So with that being said, Father God, we thank you so much that we can make a joyful noise unto you, Lord, that you want us to cry out, Lord God, and sing praises unto your holy name. And you are truly, truly worthy to be praised, Father God. You are our help, Lord, in the midst of our distress, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of the enemy coming against us, Lord God, using whatever means and methods that he uses, because Father, you know that he is cunning, but he's no match for you, Lord. If God be for us, Father God, who can be against us? And as King David said here in this book of Psalms, Lord God, that all of our help cometh from the Lord. We ask that you would bless your word today and just help us to continuously look towards you. Pray, Lord God, cry out and sing praises into your name, Lord. That any time we face any kind of obstacle or adversity, Lord, that we can say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. We praise your name. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Oh, wait, let me start at the beginning. Sorry. <laughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 121. A song of ascent. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber indeed. He who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forevermore. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. You guys, that is such a powerful promise, okay? In the midst of our storms, in the midst of whatever is going on, we can always look to the hills and know that the Lord is our help, that he loves us, that our deliverance comes from God. And our God is amazing. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Verse three says, he will not let our foot slip. He who watches over us will not slumber nor sleep, okay? That means he's awake 24 seven, watching over you and I, his children from heaven, because he loves us so much. He watches over us. He is our shade at our right hand. And you know, the right hand signifies might and power throughout the Bible. The sun will not harm us by day, nor the moon by night. We do not have to fear the elements. We don't have to fear the enemy. We don't have to fear, period, that we can be faithful and confident and know that the Lord is our keeper, that he will watch over our entire life, that our comings and our goings, that he sends angels to surround us, brothers and sisters, be encouraged today. Hear me, okay? He loves us so much. That's That doesn't mean that we won't face problems and obstacles and adversity, but we will overcome them through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of our righteous Father in heaven who loves us so much. And he will watch over us and keep us both now and forevermore. That when we leave this earth, we have a home waiting for us in heaven where the streets are gold, where he has made a, a, a place for us. Jesus said that I have left and I have gone home. He's gone home to prepare our home. Amen. We get new heavenly bodies and we will have a new place in heaven where we will spend eternity getting to know our heavenly father who loves us and cares for us. With that being said, I hope that all of you enjoyed 
this chapter enjoyed my singing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's okay. Um, but you know, I sing unto the Lord. So even if you didn't enjoy it, I know that the, that God did. The, our Heavenly Father, He enjoyed it. I hope so. He'll let me know when I get there, right? <laughs> But you can let me know in the comments section as well. If you have a prayer request, I'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will talk with you in the next video. Take care and be blessed, brothers and sisters. Goodbye.